Ladies and gentlemen, welcome along to Basildon, the home of New Holland in the UK and the home of its manufacturing facility for its uh, world-renowned T6 and T7 tractors. So we're here today, we are, well, we're just outside the customer centre and we've come for a good look at some of the company's latest tractor developments. So we've got the uh, latest updates and developments to the T6 methane, methane tractor. This one here. This one here. And then we're going to be having a look at the latest generation T7 HD with its all brand spanking new interior and a few other extra bits on there as well. Uh, and then we've got the big daddy. The, uh, the T8 Genesis with now, well, it's got the legendary name. The Genesis is back. That's it. Can it live up to yeah, it? Yeah. That's the question. Yeah. So we've got, well, he's the tractor guru, basically. He's, New Orleans, he's Mr. New Orleans Tractors himself. Uh, Mr. David Redman. Uh, unfortunate last name for the, uh, <laughs> for the brand he's working for. So, I mean, first of all, David, just tell the boys and girls what your role is at New Holland. Uh, okay, so I, uh, I'm a high horsepower tractor product specialist for the UK, Ireland, Nordics and Baltics. Uh, and I look after anything from well, the T5 uh, dynamic command tractor, so 100 horsepower, right through to the T8, the Danny, right. the Genesis, uh, for uh, 435 horsepower. So, yeah, anything to do with uh, sort of market requirements, that's, yeah. that's my bag. <laughs> so, you've got... A big spread. A big spread of products, <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's a lot of commonality between the two, obviously some cabs, you know, some transmissions, etc, etc. So they, they do fold over quite nicely. So yeah. when you talk about sort of auto command transmissions and uh, dynamic command transmissions, yeah, yeah. That's, that's it. Like you say, the cabs shared on quite a lot of these as well, particularly the actual main structure the main itself. The structure itself, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Perfect. Well, without further ado, David, let's get stuck into these tractors and, uh, well, we'll see what you can uh, furnish us with uh, knowledge-wise, so we'll get stuck in, shall we? Try my very best for you. <laughs> So David, let's kick off with this, uh, this development, the T6 methane tractor. I mean, there's been I mean, God knows how much written about this, documented about this. It's had so much coverage over, I mean, over the last decade almost, yeah. really, since its inception. Um, so we'll kind of, we'll sort of rattle through, like, if you could give us like a little potted history from kind of where it started to where we're at, where we're at now, if you could. Yeah, for sure. So. I mean, originally this concept, if you like, started back in 2013, um, where we kind of proved our concept to make sure it worked. So we put a four-cylinder, 3.4-litre engine into a T6 140, 140 horsepower, yeah. just to prove that, yeah, we could run on gas. Right. Uh, and then from there, it's been development all the way. So from 2013 to to date, we then went from a four cylinder to a six cylinder, 5.9 engine, and then to what we've got now today, the 6.75 liter engine, which is the same engine, would you believe, as in its diesel cousin. Yeah. Yeah, so it's been development all the way. So it's not been something that we've just dreamt up last week. Let's have a we, bash at this. Yeah, let's have a bash <laughs> at this. We've had, had this on the board for, yeah. for quite a while. I mean, when you, when you look at the tractor, I mean, uh, the tractor doesn't look any different no, to, to a normal T6. And currently where we are with development, um, with the, the CNG, the biomethane, we, we kind of, our path forward was to not only look like a standard diesel tractor, but act and perform like a standard diesel yeah. tractor. And uh, this tractor does. So this is a T6 180. It's exactly the same as a diesel T6 on 80 in its 145 horsepower rated, 175 horsepower maximum, 740 newton meters of torque. And if you drive this tractor, yeah. you wouldn't really notice any difference. So pretty, pretty much every single performance figure is bang, bang on to bang a on. T6 on 80 diesel. Right. Yeah, yeah, and that's been you know all the way through that we've tried to achieve that, and we yeah. have achieved that. And including the torque curve as well, is that cool. very similar? Yeah, or? the torque curve is fairly similar as well. The engine is actually five decibels quieter than a uh, standard diesel tractor. And just as a, a little bit of information, and I know there's a lot of drivers that will be listening to your videos, we had to retune the exhaust pipe uh, from, uh, from, from the standard because it, wasn't, it was too quiet. Yeah. The drivers love to sit and listen to, no, no matter how quiet the cab is, drivers love to sit and listen to the bark of the engine, and we had to put some bark back into so the engine. So we had to tune it up a bit, just give it a... Yeah, to give it some, some, some bark in the exhaust. Well, you can tell you guys are based in Essex, can't you? You <laughs> have to give it a bit of wide boy, didn't you? <laughs> so in terms of this tractor fitting into the agricultural industry, particularly yeah. in the UK and yeah. in Europe, 
Where does it fit? What's what's the sort of ideal situation scenario? Uh, okay, so yes, yeah, good question. There's this tractor probably is not for everyone. Let's kind of yeah. put that now. I mean, this will fit into your biogas plant for sure, and it becomes part of what we call the energy independent farm, the, the circular motion. So. The, the customer that buys this tractor, he may have um, you know, a slurry injection application for it. So the, the waste that he's taken out of his biogas plant, mm. he's gonna take out to the field and inject. So he can use the tractor to do that. that that's not a problem. Um, he would, could be bringing in waste, yeah, food, be it food waste or cattle waste or yeah. whatever waste to put into his anaerobic digester as well. So we can kind of bring that tractor into this, this kind of cycle. It, it's then kind of used, I mean, it does no, any, doesn't do any different tasks to a standard T6. So it's still got PTO, it's still got rear linkage, um, it can pull a trailer, it, it can power a power harrow, it can power a fertilizer spreader, it can feed the cows, it can do whatever yeah, you want. Yeah, it's not as if its uses are limited, is it? No, exactly no. that. So it's just, um, like I say, it's the, the, the gas part of it. Um, if you really want to be the carbon negative, the carbon neutral, then this is the tractor to do it. Right. And what infrastructure is required on the, you know, on farm to actually make this thing work? Uh, okay. So, so probably the biggest misconception is you need a biogas plant to fill this mm. tractor. That that's wrong to start with. So yes, you can fill it from a biogas. So if you've got a biogas plant producing gas, you just need to clean it, compress it, and then you can fill the tractor. Yeah. That's not an issue. Um, the UK is covered by a massive great uh, nas national grid network of pipes, yeah. gas pipes. There's one kind of just here. So you can speak to one of the local gas companies, tee into the gas pipe, obviously, and then compress it, and then you can fill a tractor. So you can take yeah. it out of the national... Make sure you pay for it. Make sure you pay for it. That's <laughs> it, yeah. That. And you can't kind of braise your own joint on or whatever, because yeah. that might go boom. But um, So the, the national gas grid network is another place you can take gas out of to fill the tractor. So you can have that yeah. filling on farm. Um, there's something called a virtual pipeline. So it's kind of a bit like a, a diesel bowser, but it's an articulated lorry trailer. So you basically pay a rent, they'll bring a lorry trailer in full of gas, mm. pipes full of gas, and you can fill it up from there as well. But the best one to me now that's starting to emerge is um, we've got to cap slurry pits. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, that, that's uh, something that's coming. And the slurry pit capping has to be done. Well, what's emitted from slurry pits is methane. So why not capture that methane, cleanse it, and power a tractor. So anybody that's got a dairy farm that's got a slurry pit, hey, it could be free fuel for you at the end of the day to power it. That magic word, free, free to yeah. a driver. Um, and then obviously we talked a lot about the storage tanks, but I mean, just give us an idea of their size, the capacity, yeah, what pressure they're under, yeah. filling. Okay, so um, there's 10 storage tanks around the tractor. In total, we've got around about 453 litres of gas carrying capacity, which if you want to work in kilograms, which is what gas is sold in, mm. it equates to 79 kilograms. So 79 kilograms maximum of gas on the tractor. So with that then, that's how much is on board. What does that equate to range? Okay, so range wise depends on really your application mm. and how heavy right footage you yeah, are, yeah. really yeah so how much the job demands yeah, yeah, how much the job demands <laughs> as i said this tractor is not for everybody mm. uh if you're kind of doing road haulage so to back into your kind of biodigester let's say for example you're probably going to get eight hours out of her something like that yeah uh, but what we kind of tend to see is because if you've got a biodigester and you've got gas on site the whole kind of logic is, well, I might as well just top it up every time I go back. And that's mm. what we've found a lot of people have been doing. You know, when you start looking at gas, I think you're gonna to start to kind of like, oh, I'm back at the farm, I'll just top it up. Because it doesn't take long to, to top up. It's not like these, you connect it, job done, open it up, and away you go in probably five minutes yeah. less than that. It's you can up. even walk away as well, because it's yeah. about pressure, isn't it's it? About it pressure. It's, so... it's not gonna spill out everywhere. No. You're not gonna get covered in diesel, are you? Well, David, spot on. Uh, that's uh, that's one product down. We've yep. got two more to go, so we'll get stuck into those. Um, depending on where you're watching this, you might have only seen this video so far. There's another two videos, uh, like I say, with the T7HD and the T8 Genesis. Or if you're watching this on Land Power TV, stick around because that's where we're going next. We're going T7HD, latest generation. Latest generation. Jobs are good. Ones.